I just got my brand new Kia EV9 and one of the reasons I bought this car was it's capable of towing this trailer. But before it can tow, you need to install a brake controller and that's what we're going to look at in this video. To get the full £5,000 towing capacity, you need to have the all-wheel drive model and your trailer needs to have brake system installed and for that to work, you need the brake controller. Well, this is the brake controller from my previous car. It's a Takanasha Prodigy P2 uh, and it still works fine. I just need the right cable connector. Uh, when you get the tow package, Kia do supply this, uh, what's called a pigtail. So it's the right connector for the Kia. And then, you know, you're supposed to join it to whatever type of connector you have in your brake controller. Well, rather than do that, I went on Amazon and I bought one. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, this is what arrived. And uh, it's got the right connector for the Takansha brake controller. It's got the right connector for the EV9. It's described as being for Hyundai and Kia. Um, they mention the Palisade and the Tauri ride. They don't mention the EV9, but it's the same as this. The connections are the same. The colors of the cable are the same. So I think we're going to be good. Let's uh, install it. So the uh, cable for the brake controller should be somewhere under the steering wheel. And uh, there is this uh, fuse box uh, cover. So if you take that off, um, apparently it's it's somewhere around here. So I'm gonna have a route around and see if I can find it. Well, thank goodness for Reddit because somebody mentioned it's actually behind this uh, flap here, which is the emergency release for the front. So apparently, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. So the cable in the car was absolutely fixed in place. I couldn't move it and I couldn't figure out how to take the trim off. So I just had to connect the cable in place. I've left it like this and it doesn't interfere at all with the manual front release. That, that still works fine. Okay, so I just need to decide where to put the brake controller. And I'm going to mount it somewhere around here. Um, the guy in Reddit whose post I saw, he actually uh, mounted it to this uh, door here so I might do that let's see so I decided to indeed mount it on this uh, fuse cover I'm only going to be making two holes um, but you know if you ever wanted to replace it and get one without holes then it'd be easy to replace I drilled a couple of very small pilot holes and I'm just gonna put the two screws in that's it uh, installed a couple of screws through the back I, I put the screws in a place where they wouldn't um, you know mess up the information label which describes all the fuses and uh, the, fuse, the screws are really short they're not going to get in the way of anything there's inches of space between those metal screws and what's behind so I think we're good we're just going to clip it in place for good measure I decided to put some tape around the screws as they were kind of sharp well that's uh, that's it now in place I just need to connect the wire and uh, put some uh, cable ties around it to keep it out of the way uh, because the cables has this, you know, they're multicolors and labels and stuff, I'm just going to cover it with some uh, black vinyl tape. Um, otherwise, because, you know, you, you're going to see a couple of inches or so of this. Okay, well, the job is done. Uh, I put in a couple of cable ties. Oh, need to cut one of them. Well, now it's time to test it out. This is our trailer around at the storage place, 23 feet, ultra lightweight, single axle. We love this trailer, it's been great. We've had it for a few years and we used it with our Jeep Cherokee. Now it's time to plug it into the EV, test it works. So turning on the car, the brake controller displayed C, which means it is connected to a trailer. And then depressing the brake, it shows the amount of braking force being applied. Well, that's looking pretty good. So I wanted to check uh, the lights uh, were on. So lights are on in the car, go to the back of the trailer. The lights are also on here. Then I turned on the left turn signal. Go to the back, left one is flashing, right one is solid. And then check the right one flashing on the car. Go to the back, flashing at the back. So we came back another day, we hooked it up and we went for a drive up the beautiful Spring Mountains just outside Las Vegas to an altitude of 8,600 feet. So how did it go and how did it affect the battery life? Check out this other video. Thanks for watching. My name's Scott and this is Scott Smart Home.